In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a course export and import. This is really similar to course copy. And in my case, I use this uh, export and import as a backup uh, backup technique uh, for the course copy. When the course copy fails, I use this. Well, actually, um, right now, there's so many course copy uh, uh, requests are queued up in the system. It is not processed at all. So, um, you know, in a case like that, this is really useful. I think it's a separate system, different system, I mean, process, and uh, it can be processed rather quickly. So, what we're trying to do here is create a package, course package, and export it from one course and import that uh, package into a different course. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, this is a course uh, that has nothing, no content right now. It's an empty blank course. And this one uh, is uh, the course with the, the full content already in. Just like when, when I demonstrated the course uh, copy uh, process. Okay? So, f uh, first of all, we need to start from here. This uh, old course. And, you know, making a package in this course, from this course, and import it into the new course. Okay. Got, got the idea? Okay. Now, as usual, we go to the okay, a control panel and go to uh, packages and utilities. Same thing. That's the same place where course, co course copy is located. Okay. So this is what we used last time, but this time we're going to be using uh, export archive course. So click that. Then click export. All right. Step one. Okay. It's already done, and go to uh, step two. Select course materials. Just like in the course copy, uh, select all the, the items you want to make. You want to, you want to, you know, copy over to a different course. But you're not really copying. What you're doing is creating a package that contains any of these items. So I want to uh, include start course page, modules page, and all the contents and exams page. And, uh, all the links and everything in it on the exam page and assignments and all the contents on the assignment page into the package. Also, I would like to include because this course uses uh, a discussion board. I need to include discussion board. Also, need to include uh, a settings because I want the banners and the menus uh, design transfer as well. And uh, okay, there's no group setting for this course. It, okay, that's all I need actually, but. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Doesn't look like I have anything else. Okay. So these are the items I want to include in the package. And. Okay, last time I used the bottom submit button, so this time I'm going to use the uh, a top submit button. Okay, submit. Success, and the action has been queued. Okay. In a course copy, I waited like 14, I mean 15, 20 hours, 24 hours, and never got processed. But in this case, I'm pretty sure it'll be processed pretty soon. Okay, let's refresh to see. Oh, well, it's not. Oh, okay. It's an it's a, uh, announcement page. So let's go back and uh, see if it's been processed or not. See, it's already there. So. In this system, um, seems to be uh, pretty fast. Okay. Then uh, click on the uh, you know save onto my computer. Looks like it's been uh, saved. Okay. This is the one. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go to um, the new course shell. Okay. Right now it has nothing here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, uh, import the package I just exported. So go to the uh, package and utilities and uh, here import package. Okay, there are two import, but the, the second one is the one. You know, export package and import package. Okay, so that do that and import package. All right, 
step one is already done and uh, let's go to step two which is select a package uh, where did I say that uh, in uh, downloads what was it called uh, I think it was called X export or something right uh, it must have been uh, this one okay sort of open and go to step four select course materials and I can I get to choose you get to choose which items in the package you wanna uh, import okay content areas everything in the content areas also uh, if you still remember uh, discussion board and the setting and that's all I needed to import into this course okay and let's, let's again let's use the top button this time okay and submit okay success this action has been queued okay so um, to see uh, if uh, the package content has been deployed or yet uh, deployed or not yet uh, just let, let's refresh you know let's re reload the page okay all right still not missing a lot of things but it looks like a, a page I mean course setting has been applied it's the same uh, menu design and uh, banner okay so let's do it again let's refresh again well, it's not there yet but well it'll come it'll come pretty soon okay, okay. see this uh, button is for refreshing the menu so now I have everything and you can rearrange the menu items you know you can put move things up and down so uh, alright and that's it